Thanks to the Family Chorus for another outstanding performance. Before we announce the winners of today's contest, I would like to introduce the official panel for Harmony Classic and both sessions of the International Chorus Competitions. And in order to describe their work, I would like to speak with the same eloquence that I did last night. Wow. Uh, please hold your applause until everyone is standing. Judging in the sound category from Bellevue, Washington, Beth Smith. From Montgomery, Texas, Betty Clipman. Judging in the music category from Middle Sackville, Nova Scotia, Canada, Karina Garriock. From Estera, Florida, Jan Meyer. Judging in the expression category from Tacoma, Washington, Paula Davis. From Aurora, Colorado, Vicki Mabry. Judging in the view visual communication category from Alpharetta, Georgia, Becky Hine. And from Wa Rao, Sweden, Anna Rosenberg. Serving as resource judge throughout the Harmony Classic and Chorus competitions from, that's not where she's from, uh, Tori Postma. And from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, panel chair Marcia Pinvidic. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you again for the wonderful job that you did. Also, I would like to recognize some special people who have worked very hard this convention at both the quartet and chorus contests. Please show your appreciation to our members of the judging program who have trial scored all of these competitions. In the sound court category, Becky Mabry. In the expression category, Carrie Moni. In the visual communication category, Donna Helley. Serving as panel secretaries, Janice McKenna and Patty Bender. And serving as our page, Andrea Haas. Thank you all for being so willing to give so much. There is another person who also needs to be acknowledged. While we have been enjoying all the best that Barbershop has to offer, live and in person, Thousands of our sisters and brothers in song have been tuned into their computers, listening to our webcast. This year's voice of the chorus competitions is Renee Porzel. <laughs> Joining her at various times throughout the competitions were the chorus special correspondents, Glenda Lloyd, Katie Blackwood, and Ann Downton. Please join me in giving them a big hand and let them know what a difference they make to our listeners at home. The 10 chorus finalists, the 10 chorus contest finalists will be recognized in order of appearance. Number one, Toast of Tampa. Number two, Harbor City Music Company. Number three, Fourth Valley. Number four, Scioto Valley. Number five, running a show chorus. Number six, OK City. Number seven, vocal standard. Number eight, Scottsdale. Yeah. 
Number nine, Diablo Vista. And number 10, Lionsgate. Earlier today, 100 members of the audience were randomly chosen to select the most entertaining chorus for 2023. Scores are not considered in the voting, and the results do not affect placement of the top 10. All choruses performing today, including the mic testers, are eligible for the Most Entertaining Chorus Award. When I announce the, when I announce the winner, please step forward to receive your award. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2023 Most Entertaining Chorus Award goes to Lionsgate! Competitor packets for all choruses will be available for approximately 20 minutes following the awards ceremony. Please meet staff members backstage right to receive your package. Placements for the International Chorus Finals will be announced in reverse order, beginning with 10th place. As the choruses placing 2nd through 10th are announced, the certificates and medals will be presented to the president or team leads and directors. Chorus members, please stand in place to receive your applause. During the chorus semifinals and finals, you have seen and heard 1,792 Sweet Adelines perform. Our largest competing chorus has 101 members, our smallest, 22. The cumulative total points that could have been earned by this evening's competitors, the elusive perfect score, is 3,200. Tenth place certificates and medals will be presented by Liberty Oak Chorus, represented by Katie Blackwood and Eileen Welch, with a score of 2,648. The tenth place chorus is Vocal Standard Chorus. Ninth place certificates and medals will be presented by the Woodland Show Chorus, represented by Betty Clipman and Carrie Monty, with a score of 2,648. The ninth place chorus is OK City Chorus. Eighth place certificates and medals will be pre presented by Motor City Blend Chorus, represented by Kendra Lapointe and Leanne Hazlitt. With a score of 2,655, the eighth place chorus is Diablo Vista Chorus. Seventh place certificates and medals will be presented by Metro Nashville Chorus, represented by Kim Wonders and Melissa McAdory, with a score of 2,680. The seventh place chorus is Scioto Valley.
Sixth place certificates and medals will be presented by West Coast Harmony Chorus, represented by Ann Doughton and Shana Steves. With a score of 2,711, the sixth place chorus is Fourth Valley Chorus. Fifth place certificates and medals will be presented by Spirit of the Golf Chorus, represented by Deanna Kassler, Karen Breidert, and Jan Meyer. With a score of 2,805, the fifth place chorus is Toast of Tampa Chorus. Fourth place certificates and medals will be presented by Pearls of the Sound Chorus, represented by Anna Rosenberg and Anya Lindstedt. With a score of 2,834, the fourth place chorus is Running a Show Chorus. Third place certificates and medals will be presented by Song of Atlanta Chorus, represented by Becky Hine and Michelle Little. With a score of 2,906 points, the third place chorus is Harbor City Music Company. Second place certificates and medals will be presented by Skyline Chorus, represented by Vicki Mabry and Diane D. With a score of 2,987, the second place chorus is Scottsdale Chorus! First place certificates and medals will be presented by the 2023 International Champion Rich Tone Chorus, represented by Dale Syverson and Kelly Hinton. When the winner is announced, will all the champion chorus members quickly and carefully join your president and director on stage to receive your medals. With a score of 3,019 points, our 2024 International Champion Chorus is Lionsgate Chorus! Come on up.
While our new champions are making their way to the stage, carefully and safely, Dale Syverson will direct. It's the music that brings us together. Just to say something. I think I speak for all of us here when I say we would love to hear Lionsgate, our new champions, sing one more song.
Sandy, would you like to say a few words? <laughs> you don't have to. Because <laughs> this is the last time I'll see you until next year. So I, I'm not a long talker, so I promise I won't keep you from your dinners. As you can see, we're quite gobsmacked by this. This has been a long, long dream of ours, uh, and apparently not so impossible. So uh, I just celebrated my 32nd anniversary, my director anniversary, with this amazing group of lionesses a few days ago. And we have on this stage tonight 23 brand new Sweet Adelines who have never been to a contest. And this is their debut. I have, I won't, I, I didn't, I don't have a speech, per, although I've actually been practicing this in my bathroom and on flights and for 15 years. I have, but now I can't remember any of it. Millions of coaches, millions of people, in, well, at least 97 people that have been so key in this journey and um, the, I can't think of anything to say. The one, the one person that I personally really want to talk about is my husband, Tim, who has been... He's not only our biggest fan, he's also one of our vocal coaches, and he comes to almost every rehearsal, and he works with individual people, and he coaches our characters, and. He's just been incredible and an incredible support for me and for all of the lionesses. He's everyone's husband up here. Uh, wait, that sounded really bad. Uh, and I will just quickly point out just a couple of people that my co-creator of this insanity that you see that we do is Jan Carley, who is our artistic director. And my associate director, Elaine Cotton. My visual team leader, keep the front row in line, is Shelly Alt down here. You might... Our script writer and narrator, Kara Waldman, with the most amazing shoes. And of course, my subconscious, Heather Bombin. Sorry. Um, and then, of course, the one person in our coaching arsenal that I have to talk about who has been with us for the last eight years is Jan Alexanderson. Oh, hi. I love, he's wearing his Vancouver Canucks jersey right now. It's so cute. Oh yeah, by the way, Rich Tones, congratulations on the Super Bowl win or whatever happened this week. <laughs> Texas Rangers. Well, if it's not hockey, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm so proud of my lionesses. I'm, I'm still in a bit of shock, actually. I think we all are. And uh, come on by our party later. Yeah. We're gonna be at the Galt Host Ballroom A. Uh, we have a little banquet, but we'd love to see you all and come on by. and have a toast with us. So thanks, and thanks, oh my God. Wow. Thank you, Sandy. I kind of put her on the spot there. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite our 2024 quartet champions, Lady Acapella, and our Division A and Division AA champion directors, Glenda Lloyd and Renee Porzel, to join us on the stage. And now I would like to invite June Dale to direct us in singing, Come On and Sing.
I would now like to invite the director, Sandy Marin, of our 2024 International Champion Chorus, Lionsgate, to lead us in singing how we sang today. Yeah.